He's in a lot of yeah, trouble. Yeah, but I kind of missed the things on the left-hand side quite often. Oh, so instant double sniper. upgrades on the M8, and a sniper is not what you need right now <laughs> against this M8. So he needs Volks, and he needs ammo, or he needs stormtroopers. What is he going to do? This M8 is going to rule the field. He's laying mines right outside his uh, his HQ with the only muni he's got. He's got no more muni, uh, no pencil fabs, no nothing. So he's uh, why he's would an M8 actually drive, drive that? that? Oh, he thinks that the M8 would place a mine there. Okay, well we'll see. The only reason he would drive that close is if he was going to place a mine on the retreat point. But let's see. It's yeah, just going to walk right into it. That would be funny. There. No. Oh, look, he puts them in the house as bait so that the M8 places a mine where they would have to get out. He's trying to bait that M8 into going for the mine, but the M8 is not having it. Magpie's got the map hacks. Well, no, well, let's see here. He's got an idea. The M8 has got an idea. He's going to walk right into it. <laughs> Too bad he's got no muni to panzer faust or anything, so that... That M8, yeah, pretty much pinning down those two Volks and Pioneer at the moment. What? What? Where are your Where are your munis right now? He's got 22. Oh, it's tragic. Cut off now. It's a great tragedy for Wehrmacht here on Angerville, folks. Full map cap happening. The Wehrmacht quarters. Is it finished? It's not even finished, is it? I don't know, I can't even tell. I can't tell if it's finished yeah, the damage or not finished. It's done. Is that two sniper? No, one sniper. Okay. Trying to hold on oh, desperately to some kind of position. Second M8 Peg on the way. Only... Yeah, Peg is only just making now, and the M8's gonna get there to lay down a mine before he can do anything about it. Back up! So Did he cancel down. it? Back? Did he cancel it? No. No. It's still, still coming out? Building. Yeah. Was He's that an intentional Pio sacrifice to save the pack? I think he suicided yeah, that Pio so he could get the pack out. And he lays another mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is just sad for... Fine. Meanwhile, you got the sniper in the house. He's plugging away at rifles. He's got three kills in a row. This M8, and M8, I don't know, any shot M8 could down. kill that sniper. M8 down, pack down. This sniper is like having a grand old time in this house here. He's just picking rifles off left and right. He annihilates the squad that tries to get out of that house. But I'm afraid that none of this is going to matter with a, a good dog dig dang. Because this game is over, folks. M8 in your base, killing your mans. You got nothing. There's a Faust. M8 says, I laugh at your Faust. You need at least two more to kill me. And you have no ammo. Yeah, but he's salvaging the, the older mate, so he's getting ammo. <laughs> I know, I noticed oh, that no. too. It's cute. Gunner's having a fun time too, man. He's like, show me another crowd. Pop, 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 pop. Show me another one. Pop, 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 pop. This is like shooting ducks in a barrel. Popping them krauts. I feel like I'm at the amusement park when I was a kid. 50 cents to shoot them ducks. Woohoo! Got another one. Woo! Look, got another one. Why don't they shoot yeah, that, Mama? Um, that's game over here. <laughs> Bonus kill. Plus 19 for the sniper on the retreat. <laughs> Dude, Aimstrong, it's over. Throw in the towel, man. Welcome to the ZOH Comedy Hour. This is the bad mannered good game timing. Yeah, he gets a pack out. There's hope. And the. Oh, oh, he's going to back right into it. 
<laughs> this inmate's having fun. Oh, come on, drive! I want to Tank. shoot some more! Tank depot's up. Couple more shots, and the inmate will have killed this Creek's Barracks. Very sneaky, cloaked pack has managed to bury himself in dirt and camouflage himself and crawl up and try to shoot that M8 in the butt. That's the submarine pack there. Oh, the M8 can see it. Oh, 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 he turns. He shoots and he misses. <laughs> what? Packs never miss. What the how, hell was that? How the hell could he miss that? Uh-oh, he just he destroyed his cover. The and, and there you go. Uh, oh, I just thought it was getting flanked. Nearly. So we have a, a small um, small victory there for Armstrong, showing his fighting spirit, although he has absolutely no map, and as Sherman just rolled out of the tank depot, it's Sherman a small victory. Is it a croc? It's a croc. The yeah. comedy hour continues. Magpie swimming in fuel gets a croc. I feel like I'm watching a replay from 1.4. The dreaded croc is on the field. And Armstrong still does not good game, although he doesn't have a single point on the entire map. What is up with that, yo? Hey, hey, you guys that are friends of Armstrong, tell him to throw it in when it's lost, yo, because this is silly, you know? Because then we just have more time to, like, talk shit about him. So, you know, you don't want the casters, like, laughing at you for that long. You know, go to the next game, your allies, you know, on Angerville, you can wrap it up. You don't have to... Like, watch this croc come in and burn you to death. He's laying mines in front of his pack. What are you doing? You can't come back from this, dude. Ah! Oh. Pinning down the rifles. Croc says, what pack? I take you on face to face and burn all your mans. And finally, at long last, Armstrong says, GG! <laughs> okay, folks, that was game three. It's now two to one. We'll be coming right back at you with game four on Angerville. Thanks for watching and keep it right here.